Hello everyone. I have a very important announcement to make. Some changes have been made to the university's online class policy, and this will change the way our online classes are being conducted. So please watch this video and listen very carefully. From now on, we will have scheduled class time enforcement. What does that mean? Starting week three, all lecture videos, quizzes, and assignments must be completed within offline class hours. However, an exception will be made for week one and week two materials in order to give you time to get used to this change. What do offline class hours mean? Well, take a look at your weekly schedule. When are you supposed to take my class? Let's say if we were on campus. For example, this student is supposed to have this class on Monday from 9 a.m. to 12 p.m. If we were on campus, we would break up this class into three parts. The first hour, 9 a.m. to 9.50, then there's a break. Then a second hour, 10 o'clock to 10.50, another break. And finally, the last hour, from 11 o'clock to 11.50. In the past, our online class was very flexible and you had a lot of time to complete your assignments and watch the videos at your own pace. Now, we must follow the university schedule. So, if you're supposed to take this class on Monday at 9 a.m., you must watch the lecture video at 9 a.m. on Monday. I recommend that you watch the lecture video in the first hour the lecture videos will always be around 50 minutes, so please watch the lecture video and complete your textbook exercises. Then, for the rest of the class time, you will be able to complete all your participation and attendance assignments. This is the maximum time limit for you to complete all of this work. After the end of your scheduled class time, the participation and attendance assignments will not be available anymore. So, to repeat more clearly, before we had a five-day time limit to complete our assignments, now we will have a three-hour limit to complete all of our classwork for that week. Now, let's talk about material availability. Video lectures will become available at the start of online class hours. So, if you go to YSEC before, you will not be able to watch the video early. It will automatically become available at the beginning of our class time. However, I will make all of the assignments available for the entire three-hour period. So, as soon as you log on, download all of the assignments, watch the video, and start working right away. Then, you must upload your responses before the end of the three-hour class. After the class is finished, however, the video will be available all semester, and you can watch it again and again after the class. Failure to complete your work within the three-hour time limit means that you will lose points. If you do not finish your participation or attendance assignments, you will not earn points for them. So, be prepared to come to class on time and do your work in a very efficient way. Frequently asked questions. What about tests? Will they have the same time limit? The answer is yes. In an offline class, we usually take our tests in the last hour of class. And for the online version, I will also limit the tests to the last hour of the class. So, watch the lecture video, complete your classwork, and then you will be able to access whatever tests we might have, only for one hour. Number two, what about the midterm exam? Actually, we're not sure about the midterm exam yet, so please wait for some more updates. Number three, what if I can't make it to class within those hours? I understand it can be difficult, especially if you're not in Korea right now and you're not in the same time zone. If that is the case, or if you have another reason for missing the class, 
you must submit some documentation and an excuse note according to the syllabus. Number four, is there a way to make up lost points? Yes, but only with a valid excuse note. Please take a look at your syllabus and check the table that is called types of excuse notes. You will see how each type of excuse is penalized differently. I know that this is a very big change and it can be very confusing. If you have any other questions, please send me an email at sun.andrea at yahoo.com. I'd like to remind everyone that sometimes YSEC doesn't send messages, so please use my email and not YSEC. Don't forget, we have one week to prepare for this policy change. So for week two, all of our assignments will keep a longer due date, five days. Then in week three, we are going to begin our scheduled offline class time. I hope that this video was very clear for everyone. If you have any questions, feel free to email me or post a question on the YSEG Q&A forum. Thank you and enjoy your weekend.